everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Everyone in class needs to bring one for general cleaning. So, why didn't you tell me when you got home earlier? Well, to be honest, I forgot about it. I just remembered I need one. I can't help it. Unfortunately, I don't have one. Then you can make one, right? There's all the time in the world to sew one. Maruko, stop it. You have no right to trouble Mom like this. You're gonna have to solve this problem by yourself. Yeah, she's right. It's your fault for remembering so late, so sew the dust cloth yourself. But I can't, and it's only nine. Sorry, Mom, but will you do it, please? I can't. I'm way too tired right now. I said I was sorry, Mom. Please, I beg you. Fine, I'll do it. Go to bed. Okay. I'm going to bed, too. Hey, it's time to get up. Come on. <sighs> Good morning, Dad. What's wrong? How come you're waking us up today? It's your mom. She's in bed with a cold and fever. Huh? Yeah, so she's not going to be running after you two this morning. I'm not going to be running after you two either. Now, I'm relying on you to get out of bed, get yourselves ready, and head off to school. <sighs> Don't even try. Huh? Don't even think about going back to sleep. I... <laughs> I made miso soup to go with your breakfast. You can always pour it over your egg and rice if you'd like. Thanks. Yes, I had the same thing for breakfast, too. It was good. Good to know. What about you, Dad? Fermented soybeans. Wow, that sounds really healthy. Doing. I'll come with. I don't want you guys catching a cold as well. Don't get too close. Okay, Dad. How are you, Mom? I'm sorry. This fever's a problem. It's cool. Just get some rest, okay? Did you take your medicine, Mom? I did. Now, get going to school. And don't worry about me. I'll be fine, honestly. See ya. See ya. Maruko? Yes, Mom? I made your dust cloth. It's right by the front door. Don't forget to take it with you. Oh, sure, thanks. Let's go. <sighs> Did you notice how red Mom's face was? Yeah. Her temperature must be quite high. I'm so worried about her. Same. And what's stranger is that Mom doesn't get sick. Well, I'm thinking she should go see a doctor. Maybe so. I guess if it gets any worse, then she'll go see one. Oh. Maruko, 
You'll help me with cooking and cleaning today, right? Let's leave Mom to rest. Done. I'm with you. My mom's not well. She's in bed with a cold right now. Huh? That doesn't sound too good. Does she have a fever? Yeah. When I saw her this morning, her face was so red. It's bad. And that means her temperature is incredibly high. I see. So she needs total bed rest to get better, right? Right. The thing is, Mom hardly ever gets sick like this, so a fever this high is making us worry a lot. I understand. Anybody would worry. Mm. Poor Mom. Maybe she caught this cold and fever because of all the trouble I caused last night with the dust cloth thing. And it's only nine. Sorry, Mom, but will you do it, please? I can't. I'm way too tired right now. I never thought my mom could get tired. I've always believed her to be superhuman. Mara-chan. Huh? Come on, we've got music class next, so let's go. Sure. What's the matter, teacher? Did you catch a cold? Unfortunately, but the good thing is that the fever has finally worn off. My mom's in bed with a cold and fever as well. I hope she gets better soon. People can be hospitalized if a cold gets really bad. Make sure your mother doesn't strain herself. Just let her get some rest, all right? Yes. Good girl. Now, let's begin the lesson, shall we? It gets hard when your mom catches a cold, doesn't it? I remember when my mom caught a cold. My dad and I had so much to handle. But you're always helping your mother out, Nagayama-kun. So you must be quite used to it. I'm not used to it at all. I mean, I help my mom out for sure, but it's always something simple like doing the dishes or going shopping, stuff like that. That's fine. Anything you do to help is good. Not true. All that stuff is of no use. When my mom caught a cold last time, we were completely helpless. For example, neither I nor my dad know how to cook rice, and it's supposed to be so easy. We don't know how to make even the simplest of dishes, like miso soup or grilled fish. I can't do laundry or ironing. We would either order in or go out to eat food. In one week, the house was totally out of order and a mess. It made me feel so helpless. Out of order and a mess is an everyday thing for me. So, as a result, I don't have time to feel helpless. So then, you're the one who's used to it. Yeah, I guess, but it isn't good. Still, you heard what Miss Oishi said. It's possible for a cold to get so bad that people would need to be hospitalized for a while, so you might want to take good care of your mother. What? Are you saying that she could... It can happen. I admit, I've heard stories, too. A cold can be serious. Mm-hmm. My goodness, Mom's face is still red. Obviously, the fever hasn't worn off. Maruko. Mm -hmm. Please close the door. Mom's still sleeping, so we need to be quiet. Right. Come on, then. Let's go. Okay. Here's the plan. Grandma and I are going to handle cooking the food. So that leaves you to go shopping. Yep. Good. Now, you need to go to both a fish shop and a tofu shop. You got it? Got it. Here, and be careful. <laughs> okay, I'm off then. Uh, it's so cold. Every time Mom asks me to go out and get some stuff for her, I'm always lightly and quick to refuse. But she goes out shopping every day, no matter what the weather is like. Hi there, Maru-chan. Running errands? Yep. And on a cold day as well. You're out in the cold, too. It must be hard tending trees in this weather. Oh, no. See, compared to the trees, I've got it quite easy if you think about it. The trees have to stand out in the open every day of the year, don't they? Yeah, you've got a point. Every day, in the cold, the heat, the wind, and the rain. Trees are always standing, even when it's freezing cold out. The winter always makes me realize how wonderful the life force of trees is. Thank you. 
hope Mom gets well. I'd like it if she could be resilient like a tree. Gets well? Are you saying that your mama's caught a cold? Yes. She's got a fever because of the cold as well. So I'm quite worried about her. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, hey, hang on here for a minute, okay? Hmm? Here, arrowroot gruel with ginger. Does this cure a cold? Well, the effect of the ginger warms the body, so at the very least she'll feel a little better. Thanks so much for your help. Appreciate it. It doesn't taste too bad, either. You should try some yourself. Sure. I'm home. Welcome back. Thanks for doing this. On my way, I saw Grandpa Sasaki, and he gave me some arrowroot gruel with ginger. That's very nice of him. I'll use some in a drink for Mom later on. Cool. She's still sleeping. It seems she still has a high fever. Mm, I see. Maruko is worried. Second half coming up. The food's not going to be as good as the food Mom can make, but I hope it's okay with you, Dad. That's fine. We don't have a choice, so... I can safely say that it's not as good as the food Mom can cook. True. Besides that, Mom tends to cook a variety of dishes, each of which tastes really delicious. It's hard work, you know. Well, this is a good opportunity to realize just how hard your mom works for all of us. You do well to offer to help out with stuff every now and then. Yes, I'll help for sure. I didn't mean you. You're only going to get in her way, so no. How can you say something like that to Grandpa, Dad? You said we should help, and he just offered to do so. Yeah, correct. In fact, I think you should offer to help her, too. Yeah, that's not happening. I would never be so careless to make such an offer. I have my own business to handle. And your mom has her business to handle. That's just the way it is, and it's not gonna change. That's not fair. It has to. Listen, the reason Mom has caught a cold in the first place is because you don't help her out with anything at all, Dad. That's nonsense. People fall ill because of all the germs in the air. So whether I help her with anything or not has no direct relation to the germs around us. Oh, and by the way, your mother stayed up late last night making that dust cloth you needed for school. And that's the only reason she caught a cold. <sighs> Please stop, Dad. No reason to blame Maruko for this. You don't seem to be worried at all. You really should be more caring of Mom, you know? Oh, have you know I'm like that all the time. Unlike you two who decided to start caring after she caught a cold. As you can tell, I'm not as thoughtless as you are. Whether your mom has a cold or is in the peak of her health, my regard for her will remain the same. How can you be so carefree like that? She rarely catches a cold, but look at her now. She's in there with a fever that won't leave. What'll you do if something happens to her? Yes, I'm worried. We should all be worried about her. Well said. We should worry. I agree with them. Nah, for what? Worrying's not going to help her get over the cold. We don't need to stress out. Just let her get the rest she needs and she'll recover in time. I'm going to make that arrowroot drink. Mom will have some of that and get better. Wait, I'll help you. Drink. It has ginger in it. Grandpa Sasaki gave me some today. Yeah, it's good. It'll warm you up quickly. I will, thanks. <sighs> you know what? The dream I was having was about you two when you were little. 
So, when I opened my eyes and I saw you both in front of me, I was a little surprised. How are you now? Is your fever gone? Mm hmm. Not yet. I think it's still around. Uh, I'm sorry about this, Mom. I made you stay up late last night just because I needed a dust cloth for school. That's the reason you have this cold and high fever. Hold on. That's a ridiculous thought. I didn't catch a cold because of you, Maruko, and that's it. But still... Now look, both of you. If you stay in here, you might catch a cold, too. Which means you both need to leave. No way. We're staying here. Maruko, Mom won't be able to rest if we stay here. Uh... Come on. Uh... I never realized how much work this is. Yeah, true. Every time we're out there watching TV, Mom's in here washing the dishes or something. Do you need some help? No, thanks. We're almost done here. No need to worry. Wow, great. I'm proud of how hard you both have worked today. To be honest, I didn't do much, Grandma. Considering the work Mom does, doing a small job like the dishes is like doing nothing at all. Earlier, Mom mentioned that she was having a dream in which Sis and I were little children. Was it a memory? You know what? The dream I was having was about you two when you were little. I wonder, has anything nice ever happened to Mom since I've been here? She's been raising me for years now. I'm always selfish and very demanding. I've been naughty and irresponsible. Now that I think about it, I don't do anything that makes her happy. If something happens to Mom because of this fever, then she hasn't gained anything positive by raising me. All this time, Mom has been raising my sister and I unconditionally and without any compromise. And me, I've never even given a single thought for Mom. Sorry. Oh, Mom. I'm so sorry. Mara-chan, is your mom feeling any better? Yeah. She did tell us this morning that she was feeling slightly better, but it's still not good for her to strain herself, so she's still resting. Oh, that's good. A little more rest will help a lot. And yesterday, Sis and I did all the domestic chores around the house. We never realized how much hard work it is. It opened our eyes to how much time and effort Mom puts into the house and family every day. And I feel really bad that I've been so demanding and selfish all this time. Yeah, you're right. My mom is working hard all the time, too. On the other hand, my dad doesn't seem to do anything to help. Yeah, same. I have my own business to handle, okay? That's it. That's what he said. He doesn't do anything to help us out. Sis and I got angry at him yesterday for this. I get it. My dad doesn't understand, no matter how much I tell him. It's the same with us. Really, Mom, we're so happy you're feeling better. I didn't mean to make you worry, Maruko. I'm sorry. I've been thinking. I feel really bad about all the trouble I've caused you in the past. I hope that your regret lasts a long time, Maruko. Uh, sure. I'm home, guys. Oh, hi, dear. You're home early. I had to leave. I got a runny nose and I'm sneezing. I think I'm catching a cold, so I left work early. What? You've come down with a cold as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Don't do that. Point that thing in another direction. Hey, come on. Don't be so cold. Your nose is leaking, and it's so disgusting. How's that? You guys don't seem worried about me. When your mom had a cold and fever, it was totally different. Was it? Yeah, I guess so. That's a bit unfair, isn't it? Yeah, 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 uh, I'm feeling cold now. Listen, make me a drink of the arrowroot gruel you got that day. I can't. It's all gone. What? All of it? I finished it off a few minutes ago. Oh, man, you're kidding me. Maruko, can you run to the store, please? Get me a mask and some cold medicine. Oh, I don't want to, Dad. Don't give me that. You can see that I'm not feeling well. 
go now. You get all bossy when you catch a cold, you know. It's hard to be worried about you. Will you stop complaining and get to the store? Uh. <laughs> Thank you very much, and good night. Uh. Oh, hi, Maru-chan. Thank you very much for giving me the arrowroot with ginger gold the other day. No problem. What's all that? Is your mom still not well? Mm, she's good. Mom's feeling much better now, thank you. Oddly enough, it seems that Dad has come down with something now. Now your dad has caught a cold. Right. I'm home. Here's all your stuff, Dad. Oh, good. Thanks a lot. So I ran into Grandpa Sasaki again. Huh? You ran into Grandpa Sasaki? So, did you tell him that I've come down with a cold? Yes, I told him. And did he say he had some arrowroot gruel for me? No, nope. he said nothing of the kind. He said that's tough and advised you to take care. <clears throat> oh, good. Poor Harushi doesn't get any sympathy from anybody, including Grandpa Sasaki. <laughs> oh, gross. I just told you not to sneeze in our direction, Dad. Jeez. <laughs> 